Hi there everybody, we'd like to show you how to make a relatively simple 12 shape design based off of the seed of life, which is six. We're going to do another six circles, another layer around. Now before we do <coughs> our constructions, we want to make sure we're in the center of our paper. So we'll measure and find the middle, and we'll measure again and we'll find the middle. Um, another thing we typically want to remember is that our compass point and our compass tip should be about the same length. Uh, really, the closer the better. If the pen is too high, it's awkward. If it's too low, it gets more awkward. Um, so let's do this simple design that is going to look like something I've seen on uh, some Native American uh, tapestries and things. Uh, and I'll make another video where instead of we're, we're going to make a circle to start with, but instead of what we're going to construct, instead of stopping here, we'll make one that actually um, will continue a circle outside of this first circle. But we start with a circle, like we mostly always do. And if you want to measure the ruler to be sure, that you reach the correct top point of your uh, circle. Then the little star shape will be pointed there. And we're going to put our compass point on that spot and we're not going to adjust our compass. And we'll turn our compass from edge to edge. And where the circle we started with meets the new edges. We're going to put our compass. Now, I like to go to the left and sort of follow it along. So here's to the left. And again, where it meets the circle, we're going to put our compass point there. And you want to be accurate, so you want to take your time to find exactly where the circle meets the arc. We call these pieces of a circle, an arc. And as we go all the way around, it's going to make the inside of what we call the seed of life. And we could use this to create a mandala and a pattern if we wanted to. But I'd like to do another layer. Actually, we could even do more than one more layer. So the next step, I'm going to use a marker just so that it shows up better on the video but really you would want to use a pencil because this next little thing we're going to erase under normal circumstances we want to find the middle in between these two petals or really any of them so I'm going to adjust my compass to what looks like more than half so if this my finger is half we want the compass to go past that and we're going to make an arc top and bottom. We can draw the whole arc if we'd like since we're going to erase it. And when we find where the two arcs meet here and here, we're going to find the center of these two or in between these two petals. Now here I didn't have them meet. I will go back to where I started and extend it. So now we have a little two little X's, two little X marks the spots. And so our compass is going to, or I'm sorry, our ruler is going to line up on those two spots, and we found the middle. So we found the middle in between these two. Now, since we adjusted our compass, we want to readjust it back to the original starting size. So I'll put the point in the center, and I'll adjust it. And again, if you're using a pencil, you can kind of see if it's exactly where it should be. If not, we can erase it. And now we're going to put the point of the tip on that spot that we found. And we're going to repeat what we did. We're going to go from edge to edge. And where the circle touches the new arc, we're sort of going to follow it around. And put our point of our compass on the new spot. So now it's going to go here. Now 
here. Where it leaves off, we'll repeat. And we have this beautiful little design. Now, we could also do another layer. We could do, if we did another layer, we'd have to find the middle of this and the middle of this. So we could find that now without our compass. We can connect the center to this seed here and we can find that center spot. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna, here and the center, I'm gonna line my ruler up. Now I like to put my pencil on the spot to line it up to make sure it's really, it's really at the right spot. Because sometimes our rulers look like we're hitting the spot, but when we put our pencil down, it's, it doesn't. Now I have two more spots because I'm going to use this one to go around again and then this one for a total of 24. But we can stop here and color it and uh, make it really beautiful. We could use different colors inside of our compass. My compass allows me to put different marker sizes on it. Um, or we can, like we said, we can do another layer. So I'm going to go from here to here and where it meets. I'm going to put the compass. Now you'll notice that, you know, a circle when we make the first circle, six more will fit evenly. Now this might not look complete because we did six, then another six for 12, and we did another six, which is 18, and we really need another layer to finish this particular pattern. So now we're gonna go here, and we'll complete our last six for a total of 24. And you know you could even, depending on the size or thickness of your marker, you could do more than 24. You could double it to 48. Also depends on the size of your paper. If the circles are really small, it starts to get too cramped up. And you know, this sort of reminds me, like I said, I've seen some blankets with Native American patterns that have this flower design sort of reminds you of a dream catcher as well. So we did a 12-sided uh, flower, I guess you could call it, or seeds, and then we doubled it to make 24. And that is a design we could make without too many instructions. We just have to follow along where we leave off um, as we go and make the circles.